Hey everyone and welcome to DCF Garage and today I'm going to replace the third brake light on me and gorgeous wife's 2003 E320 Mercedes because the third brake light uh, is absolutely horrendous. You're going to see it so let me show you. Now we're going to replace the brake light with the one that me and gorgeous wife got at the junkyard because this is just horrible and we have to take apart the liner here in the trunk so it's got these tabs you just pull them a little bit pull them out i'm just going to place them in the trunk for now pull them out a bit like that actually before i pull all of them out i have to get this trim out otherwise it's just going to be hanging these are t25 and you got one, two, three, four, five, six fasteners. Just take them off. I'm just going to loosen them and then take them out by hand. So we can pull this out just like so. Now we can continue to remove the plastic tabs from the trunk. Remove all of them. I think there's still one here. Yeah, I think that's it. And just pull it carefully because you still got a light, the trunk light. That's going to be connected to wiring over here. And you got to take this wiring out. I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to take this light out. When I put these back in, I'm going to put some silicone. You can put silicone in the electrical connectors so they're not hard to remove next time. Now you just pull the liner up. Got one side out, the other side. Just put it aside. Here's the deal. We're going to have to move these tabs that way, this one this way, so we can pull out the actual LEDs. Just wiggle it carefully because it's going to be connected on that end. It's got wire, so you got you to gotta wiggle. Okay, so I managed to pull it out, and there's a wiring, like I said, over here. Just press in the tab and remove the, the LED lights. It's got tabs on both sides, these tabs, and I'm gonna have to press in and pop it out. And I'm gonna show you on the other side because it can't really see, you just have to feel it by hand. Push the tabs and push the LED, not the LED, the brake light out. Okay, so I'm pressing the tabs and I'm pushing the brake light out. It's four sets of tabs. You can see it actually broke and got this last one over here. Yeah, and it came out in pieces. It's got the disgusting silicone. Now we're gonna clean it all and just come in with the new brake light. And I put a very light bead of silicone just to make sure you're not supposed to put it, but the gasket over here is not in the greatest shape, so with that, we're gonna go in with our new brake light. All right, that's it very gently. It's in. Now we have to put the, the back side in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put the back first. I think that's going to be better than we're going to put the front because it's then it's just a matter of locking it in place. I'll kind of do this more easily. Now I'm putting the, the front here. Now I'm going to go to the back because it's kind of already in place. Okay, so we got it in place. 
we're gonna lock these tabs. That's it, it's in place. Now we're just gonna test it, but I'm pretty sure that it is gonna be working. The tabs are in place, it's all connected. Now we're gonna test the brake light to see if it's working. Gorgeous wife is in the car and as you can see, everything is working now. It's all good. That's great. I wanna show you guys how you can test these brake lights and also because I did not film how the old brake light was, um, you know, how the LEDs were. So I wanted to just show you guys, you can test the brake light if maybe you're at the junkyard and you wanna test it before you take home. Uh, you can get a nine volt battery. This one is from an undisclosed online retailer and you can get a couple of, of you know, wires with clamps and what happens is, and I'm gonna try to show you. So inside you have two connectors inside the brake light, okay? One is obviously positive and negative, but you do have an indication inside and it's really hard to see. I don't think you will be able to see, but there is a, a negative sign and an arrow pointing to one of the connectors. So this one on the left here is a negative uh, terminal so you can connect uh, I'm gonna connect the positive to the other side because the positive has got uh, electrical tape and it's they're really close to each other so that's why I'm isolating this with tape and uh, if you have like small wires and you want to be very careful and just connect the positive and negative you can but I'm gonna do it like this right so I'm gonna connect the red wire uh, to the positive terminal on the nine volt battery and then the negative here to the negative terminal just like that and put this aside and just because I didn't have a, a small wire here available I'm just going to use my test light here which is connected to the negative terminal just to stick it in and you're going to see the brake light illuminating here you go as you can see, my old brake light was really, really bad. Uh, you got some dim LEDs here on the left. You got some dead LEDs here on the right, so they're really bad. But this is just to show you that you can, if you go to the junkyard and you wanna test the brake light, you can just bring you know a couple of wires and a nine volt battery and you can test to see if it works. So that's it, if you like the content, this was useful, so don't forget to share, like, subscribe, do your thing. Thank you.